Coach, first shutout since 2014 for your defense. I know that had to feel good, but even when we talked to Coach Spavadol, he still sees some flaws in there. How are you feeling after that win? Are you feeling more really comfortable with the personnel you have in there and everything? Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> you know, I was um, obviously give credit to the kids for doing that. That's hard to do at any level, you know, and they they stuck it in there and played played really well Saturday. Um, I was more pleased with um, how they responded from the week before. Um, we were pretty hard on them on Sunday and Monday <clears throat> after the Baylor game because we didn't put our best foot forward in that game. You know, we had uh, some unusual mishaps um, on about five or six plays um, that were just a little undisciplined for me. And the results in a game like Baylor, if you have those mishaps, you know, they're magnified. And, you know, we talked about, you know, doing our job, having 11 guys, being where they're supposed to be, assignment, discipline, football, and that's <clears throat> what was the, the outcome, and it was good to get the shutout, but I was just more pleased how they responded. <clears throat> you know, you had more DBs back last week with Mills getting back out there. Did, did it feel more whole having some of those guys in there, seemed like they were communicating better? Yeah, you know, um, we've got six guys that were rotating in the back end, you know, Tory being out, so it's five right now. Um, we've got a couple others that – if we have a guy that's exhausted, you know, we got to put him in there. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, having Mills back, uh, kind of getting a little rust off of him, it's going to be really good for us going into conference. Yeah, Morris at that nickel position. He seems like he's he's really shining there. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think that was almost a better spot for him than that corner spot, or is he just such a good player you could put him um, in? There? Well, I think uh, that goes, goes in hand with your personnel. You know, I think we're – um, really competitive at corner now. And, you know, A.J. and Rod and Mills are playing at a high level and allows you to really let him focus on that. You know, in years past, he was he's a smart, really instinctive football player, so he'd had to play a lot of different spots. And I think that is just a product of better depth. <clears throat> yeah, just getting into JMU, you know, when you look at the film just Tuesday, but um, what are some of the strengths that you see, you know, that's allowed them to be uh, as successful as they have been in the first four weeks? Um, I mean, they're, they're, in my opinion, they're the best offense we faced up at this point um, from a just a balanced attack. Um, you know, they – nobody's safe on that field. You know, they do a great job of testing, you know, testing the perimeter, testing the run game, testing your motions, you know, your, how you're adjusting. And they do a good job of finding something and getting to it, you know, in the second half. You know, they – they uh, struggled a little bit early with App and, at, you know, at a, in a tough environment. And then they kind of found their little niche and what was good against them. And they were, they're well, you know, they're well coached. But uh, from a personnel standpoint, um, really talented. Um, my opinion, the, the best running back group that we've faced up in this point, we faced some pretty good ones. You know, these guys are more explosive. Um, not quite as big as some of the other two ones we face, but, you know, they, they do a great job. Um, it's going to be a great task, uh, you know, um, but uh, we're up for it. <clears throat> yeah, and, you know, I asked Coach Favreau about this, but uh, Jordan said after the game, you know, even though obviously every week it's kind of that same blue-collar mentality for you guys, but the ante is kind of upped going into mm -hmm. conference play. So how have you kind of seen that so far in practice? Um, yeah, it's it's – you know, it's uh, definitely we've got the urgency, the intensity, the focus is is increasing. Um, you know, but I also think it's uh, you know it's something that you know over the last four weeks, you know, you kind of early in the season, you kind of find yourself and find what you're good at and and where we, what direction we can go. And I think there's some excitement for that. You know, I think you know watching college football on every Saturday, you know, if a, a team plays good defense on the road, they got a chance to win a game. And you know, anybody can beat anybody. So I think there's, uh, you know, that normal uh, excitement going into conference. and But there's some anticipation of, you know, if we know if we, we got an, another opportunity. Coach, obviously one of the <clears throat> advantages you've had this year is the rotation of players. And that's been to your advantage. <clears throat> uh, one player I've noticed that SMU, a linebacker, Holloway, he's stepped in and done more and more uh, mm -hmm. the last few games. He's done pretty well, too. Yes. Uh, talk a little bit about him and his development, because he's done this in a very short period of time. Right. Now, and, and to, I mean, for him, for just a background on him, I mean, he's played in more football games than any transfer we brought in here. You know, he's started games at backer. He played a ton of special teams and, and a backup role more at a or at uh, SMU. But uh, so he's uh, he's a he's like that uh, 
guy you pick up mid-year uh, in the NFL, you know, that just knows how to play the game. Um, and he's really come into his own. You know, he had an injury in fall camp and missed about a week and a half with a hamstring. And so, you know, he never quite got into that competitive hump, you know, t towards the end of fall camp. And he's just been grinding it and grinding it and finding opportunity after opportunity. You know, when he goes out there, he makes plays. And, uh, I mean, he, he he's allows us to lighten the load on those backers, you know. And we're uh, pretty fortunate right now. We don't have a lot of guys playing like 65 to 70 snaps like we've done in the past. And I think that is, you know, as long as they're playing at the level you want, that's what, um, you know, you gain from it. <laughs> Earlier, your brother referenced JMU's tendency to get the tight end involved in its offense, you know, in the passing game, getting a lot of targets. What's the key to uh, trying to slow down a team that wants to use a tight end the way that they do? I think you got to change the looks up for the quarterback. Um, but I think we, you know, to do that, you've got to be really good in the run game. You know, we've got to um, set the tone with, you know, we, that's going to be our focus. We've got to make sure we can um, match their run game. And then from there, be able to, to change the picture for the quarterback, you know, when it's, you know, those pass settings, you know, they, uh, they do a great job. They, their quarterback is a veteran, you know, he started, I think, 12 games last year at Colorado State. Um, and, but this offense fits what he does best. You know, he's an, an athlete, he can, he can take off and run, you know, but, uh, you know, he gets it to all different pieces, you know, just like I said, they're going to go to the tight end early. And if you cover it, you may not get it, you know, they might go somewhere else. So we just got to be consistent with fitting the run and then, then that allowing us to change coverage when the time is right. We have Levi Bell standing by here. How valuable have the additions been of he and his brother Ben? Oh, huge. They um, not only are they great players, they're great teammates and they do a great job with you know, their daily, you know, weekly preparation. I mean, Levi's, like I've said it before in here, you know, what you see on game day is what you see every day out there. And uh, it's credit to him. You know, he made some, you know, there's a lot of production that he has made um, that is in coaching. It's just, just effort and, you know, want to, you know, and that's, that is contagious. So I think that's a, an awesome thing for us right now. And he's playing at a high level.